here's the thing about the Etsy shop. This absolutely works for everybody. It came in completely broken. We are finally on our way to Michael's. <laughs> I had no idea. I've never looked for candle stuff, but wow. I think this is good. <laughs> our, our science project. Hey guys, Charlani here. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today is just going to be a GSD, a get done day <laughs> we have lots of different things it's almost gonna be like this is what the life of a content creator is an entrepreneur like this is what we do <laughs> on a daily basis I have some reels that I need to make I have some content I need to work on I also have a project I want us to work on so in our last video you saw that I got a really inexpensive <laughs> pot I got it at the dollar store and what I want to do is I want to remelt some candle wax. If you remember months and months and months ago, Magnolia Market sent me my favorite candle, which is a fresh start candle, but they put it in a box with no packing, nothing. They literally put this in a big old box with nothing else but this. So clearly, it came in completely broken. So what I did was I chipped the glass off of it and I put the candle wax, I pulled it out and I stuck it in an old <laughs> container. So what I wanna do though is, so only one wick is here and there should be three, but when I pulled this out of the other container or I chipped away the glass on the bottom, the wick stuck to the glass so when I pulled it off, it pulled the wicks through the wax. <laughs> so I need to, well, we're gonna attempt this. I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't see why it wouldn't work. I think it should be fine, but I have some other containers that I want to melt it. We'll put our own new candle wicks in there. I think we're gonna have to go get them though. I think we're, we're gonna have to run over to Michael's to do that. But so anyways, that'll be in the next couple of hours, I think. But fresh start from the Magnolia Market is my all time favorite candle. I love it. And it is only available in the springtime. So here in the next week or two, we are going to head to Magnolia and I am definitely going to grab a couple of these bad boys because, mm, the smell of it just makes me so happy. So this is something that I want us to tackle today as well. So I did a whole bunch of editing this morning and got our video up. So I wanted to just go in and um, double check that everything looks good. I need to make, like I, I call it a commercial, but it's not really a commercial, <laughs> but it's just letting everybody know on my Instagram stories that we have a new video that's come live. So I'm gonna do that really quick, make sure that I don't have any comments, or if I do, I'm gonna go ahead and um, get in there and respond to those. And then I think what we'll do is we'll head over to Michael's and we'll get those wicks, because I really wanna do that project. Most of what I do for work is to create content to post in my social medias. I've just launched a new brand, the Live Happy Label, which will have two sides. One side is eventually going to be a place for all the home organization and decor things. But what I'm focusing on first is the time management side. It's always been my dream to have a product that can help women to manage their time organize their days and prioritize their lives and I couldn't be more excited about it. It's been a long time coming and it's all finally coming together. Okay, we are finally on our way to Michael's <laughs> to get some wicks and I'm really hoping that they have them. To be honest, I've never purchased candle stuff anywhere from online. I could not find, because I know I have like candle wax, like a little kit somewhere, but I don't know. I think I might have given that away or donated it because I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna keep going to Magnolia. <laughs> 
and buying their candles because I love them that much. Anyhow, we're gonna head, I have been working for hours. I spent way more time creating content than I should have, but that's okay. We're, we're back on track. <laughs> we're gonna head to Michael's, see if we can get some wicks. We'll come home and let's see if we can make just a few extra candles. They have a huge section here. Look at all this. <laughs> I had no idea. I've never looked for candle stuff, but wow. <gasps> How exciting. Okay, well, we need wicks. So this is kind of what we're looking for right here. I feel like we have some of like older containers, but it's kind of expensive. Five dollars for each one of those. Well, here's a four pack. I wish they were on sale. So I have bamboo sticks that I'm just gonna use. I think that'll be fine. So now we'll just get, okay, I think. So this is six, not, oh, they're the same. I think they're the same. Okay, I gotta put my glasses on <laughs> so I can read these. So this one, it is six pieces, nine inches, $3.99. It says extra large candle wicks with clips. This is wicks with clips, nine inches, six pieces. So they're exactly the same, but they look a little bit different. Oh, you know what? These are thicker. So I'm thinking we wanna go with the medium don't have small so we'll go with the medium ones right that's what we want to do <laughs> yeah I think this is good <laughs> here is the candle that we're working with <laughs> so it is the fresh start and I have been burning the one wick that was there because like I said it smells so good so I'm gonna have to figure out how to, we'll have to get a knife or something and kind of get that melted wax off of there. But I'm gonna put down some parchment paper real quick just to kind of protect the countertops. I don't know if this is gonna be messy or not. I have a feeling it might be a little bit messy. Wait. What if we just, do you think we could just put the glass and use this as a double boiler? What do you think? You know what? Let's try it. Let's, oh, I don't know. I would imagine that this is pretty thick glass. It should be able to withstand, don't you think? We're gonna try it and then we can pour it out of here into the other containers and then put the wicks in, but it'll save me from having to try and dig that out. We're gonna try it. This is what I bought at the dollar store and my thought was I was gonna put this in a pot like that and then double boil this. But I'm thinking we'll just put the candle right in here and use that as a double boiler. I filled it up with that much water. <laughs> so we'll see. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like this might not be the best idea or it might be absolutely brilliant. Okay, we're just gonna put this right on in there. Okay. Let's just let it do its thing. So in the meantime, I was thinking we'll just use these. So let's put the wicks down here. I'm gonna use double-sided tape because I didn't want to spend 350 on the little stickers to hold the wicks down, but I'm kind of double-guessing myself. You know what? We'll use glue, but that's what we'll use. All right. <laughs> So cool. So we'll just glue it right down at the bottom. We have 
Gorilla Glue. I don't see why this wouldn't work. <laughs> Ooh, you know what? We should have probably, ooh, look at that. <laughs> nice. Okay. But I do think we should probably put sticks when we go to pour that in. Oh, it's totally melted at the bottom. Okay. I almost kind of feel like, should we just stick it in the microwave? I'm calling it. We're gonna put it in the microwave. <laughs> I hear it. Oh no. We're gonna keep we're gonna we're gonna keep it in here. I can hear it sloshing around down at the bottom, so let's let's keep it. <laughs> We're gonna let everything just situate in there. I have a feeling, I turned it on to like simmer. It's super, super low. So I'm having, a, I think it's gonna take a while to do that. So in the meantime, I've been in my office and I've just been kind of contemplating how I want to proceed with our weekly planner page. So this is gonna be on my Etsy shop. It's going to be a downloadable, so whoever wants it can go ahead and grab it from there um, and just print it out on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. I have been considering because the way that I use it is I use it from 5 a.m. to 11 p.m. Let me just show you. So I have it from 5 to 11. This works for me, but I'm thinking that for other people, I'm thinking I might leave this blank and just put like a little space there. I haven't decided yet, but I'm kind of leaning towards that because some people might want to use this at the 15, like in 15 minute increments, 30 minute increments. I like an hour time block. That works for me, but I really do want this planner to be something everybody can use. So this is a planner that I have been working on for years, like I have perfected and I have taken bits and pieces from other planners, uh, like concepts that I really like, and I have implemented it into my own system, my own planner page. So I have a, an actual planner, but this is a prototype and not something that we're gonna have anytime soon like this is a work in progress and it's going to take a little bit for us to get these manufactured all the things in the meantime though what i'm going to start doing is i'm going to start going live on saturday mornings 11 a.m central time is the goal we don't know we're starting it on april 1st i think as long as we can get it set up and the time is going to be 11 a.m. Central Time. So if you're Pacific Time, that is 9 a.m. If you're Eastern, that's 12 p.m. We'll just kind of see how it goes. But I am going to, for the week ahead, fill this out kind of like a plan with me. And we can do it together. And I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and I can be there to answer questions and just kind of explain time blocking and working from a list and setting your own um, like daily tasks and how to use this to where it can absolutely change your life. I have used this exact concept. I've, I've changed my hibiscus. I have added one here because things need to be pretty. But this is a working person's, a busy person's planner. Like this is something that whether you're a stay-at-home mom or you work full-time or you're an entrepreneur or you have a business um, that you run that is a brick and mortar or you work online like I do from home, this absolutely works for everybody. I have sent this to some of my best girlfriends. They have been using this for the last few years, so I am telling you, it works for 
everybody. We'll have a whole in-depth what this is all about soon. Um, but for now, I just need to get it on my Etsy website and or Etsy shop. Here's the thing about the Etsy shop. I did not mean to launch it right away. I was hoping because you're supposed to have like 10 things in the shop. I didn't know that. I also didn't know that you can't actually create your shop without putting a listing on there. So we have a listing on there. It is actually the shopping list. I don't know if you could see it back there. So this is the shopping list. The downloadable, only the downloadable is on the Etsy shop. I'm going to work in the next few days to get the shopping list. It's an actual notepad. I've got it in cellophane because I'm adding in a magnet. I know not all people use magnets for their grocery lists I do not but I do know that a lot of people like to put it on their refrigerators so we'll have that option if somebody wants it the magnet will be there if you don't you just you have a free magnet <laughs> but it is so this is gonna go onto the website um, or the Etsy shop really really soon but I love these it's simple but it's pretty I love our signature hibiscus. It's just, oh, it's just everything. So with the Etsy shop, the way everything kind of happened, it a little bit forced my hand to get that shop up and running. So right now, all we have on there is the downloadable version. So you could absolutely print out the shopping list if you want. It's exactly like this. It's got our hibiscus, the Live Happy Label hibiscus is on here. It's just pretty. <laughs> I love it. So anyways, this is going to be on there. You'll see this video. It's going to go out on Thursday, which is just a couple days from now. So I'm hoping by the Sunday after this video posts, this will be up on the site. I'm also going to really try to get um, the downloadable version, this is obviously a notepad, um, that will come uh, down the road, but for now, the downloadable version of this will be there, so if anybody wants to do it with me, um, come April 1st, when I go live here in the YouTube channel, um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Anyways, we're, 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 all the things are in the works, I will keep you guys posted, but... That has been a big check mark that I have wanted to tackle for a long time. And just knowing that people are going to be able to get this in their hands and easily <laughs> is going to be a game changer for me. And I'm very proud of it. And I think it's going to help a lot of people because it really is a simplified way to plan out your day, but it keeps you accountable. It helps you to set your goals, keep your goals to the forefront. I just, I love it. So here is the Etsy shop and this is all going to change. Like I need to redo <laughs> that banner, but the shopping list is here. And again, it is a downloadable. So if anybody wants to grab that, you absolutely can. It comes in four different sizes. You'll download the folder and it's going to have all of these sizes on there. We've got the regular one that has the two columns and then we have the letter size, which is three columns. So if you just want to print out an eight and a half by 11, that's going to come in three different columns, which is perfect for anybody who is just printing it like on the fly. And then there's also this one right here. So it's an eight and a half by 11 page, but you'll get two uh, shopping lists out of it. So you just cut it right in half, last you a couple weeks. It truly has been so much fun just getting everything kind of put together in a nice little package and that's what I'm going to work on over these next several days is to get the weekly planning page on to that site very similar to how I have the shopping list so I'll put that link down below if you guys want it um, but like I said that shop is going to be much better <laughs> in the next couple of weeks once I get things added in. Because the other thing is, so I have like these little sticky notes that I made, I don't know, a year ago. And what I'm now going to do, just kind of the way things have worked out, is I want to get sticky notes in 
like four by sixes or like four inches by six inches and it would be a daily to-do list. I think that would be so awesome. So this, but larger and just a little bit more space on it, but things we're working on over the next few days. This is why I have been so busy. <laughs> I did update our pegboard and man, do I love this. These stickers will also be available on the Etsy shop. Once I get the shopping lists on there, like I've got the, all the stock is here, but once I get these onto the shop, I'll also put all of the stickers on there too. And I love these. Oh, they make my heart so happy. I have one right here and it is a perfect size to fit right next to this on my laptop. And then I have the black and white one on that side. But yeah, love. So we've got the thank you cards here. I've got everything here. I've got our packing stuff is all pretty much ready to go. So yeah, I did order these pegboard um, containers on our bins. They're clear bins that I got on Amazon. And then these are paper towel holders and they work perfect for what I need. So yeah, super exciting. Okay, let's see how we're doing in here. Um, yep, you can see, oh, that fogged you up. Sorry about that. You can see down at the edge, it is definitely getting more liquidy up towards the top. So we're just gonna keep letting it be and do its thing. It's a little bit, yeah, push it. <laughs> We're getting there. Okay, so what we've decided, easiest way, so we've got the chopsticks on either side, just holding that in place. We're gonna pour the hot wax into this because it's a bigger area, and then we'll pour it from the corner into the jars. We'll see how it goes. What do you think? Yeah, it might start cooling in that. That's the only thing. Oh, we'll have to pour fast. Rob is enjoying playing with our little science experiment. <laughs> our, our science project. It's coming along. It's getting there. We're getting so close. So we're going to pour it into the Pyrex from that container and then pour from the Pyrex into these guys right here. So let's get this. Oh, see that it was stuck to the bottom. Oh, sorry about that. Yikes. Okay. Oh, is it too hot? No. Oh, look at the glass. <laughs> nice. So you could see where the glass broke and these are the wicks that we've taken out, but we are just about ready. So this is what Rob had scraped off and you can see in there, oh, see if I don't let you guys get fogged up. But you can see all the little glass pieces. That was what was in all the wax. So yeah, that was a mess. So we have two jars. We'll come back and see what these look like in the morning. Hey guys, good morning and look it. They are amazing. I'm so excited that this worked out. Look at Rob stuck the label. <laughs> Can you see it? 
Rob stuck the label <laughs> from the old uh, container onto this one. It's not perfect, but it, it, it does the job. But isn't that cute? But yeah, look, they came out absolutely awesome. And I'm excited because technically I now have two more of my favorite candles. So we were estimating because that big jar, I want to say is $58 on Magnolia Market. I think these are $28. So winning, absolutely winning. This kind of became Rob's project <laughs> when he came down and saw that we were just, you know, testing some things. He had a little bit of fun with it too. So that was nice to have that backup for sure. Thanks so much for spending the day yesterday with me. We got a lot of stuff done, a lot of decisions made. So stay tuned for all the things that are coming up. But thanks again for watching. If you've not subscribed, give me a pause, subscribe now, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.